Hi guys, it's Reagan and welcome back to another video. I'm standing in my entryway, which hopefully can only mean one thing, and that is an apartment tour. This video is definitely a long time coming. Clay and I have lived in this space for about three years now and we are also about to leave it. So I thought what better way to celebrate, document our time in New York and in this apartment than with an apartment tour. I won't lie, I definitely tried to clean up as best as I could before filming this, but honestly our apartment is just a little cluttered, which is just kind of like the lifestyle in New York City. There's not a lot of space. You gotta do a lot of double duty. You gotta be creative in terms of where you put your stuff. Before we dive into the tour itself, a little information about my apartment. So Clay and I live in Southern Brooklyn, um, kind of at the intersection of three neighborhoods, Cobble Hill, Borum Hill, and Brooklyn Heights. It's a really, really beautiful area if you're ever visiting New York or honestly looking for a neighborhood to live. We have lived here for three years and have really, really loved it. It's full of brownstones and parks and great restaurants and shops. It's really cute, very, very walkable, and definitely has that sort of community feeling. So if you're looking for a Brooklyn neighborhood, maybe check this area out. We would definitely recommend it. As for our apartment, it is a one bedroom, one bath unit. It is said to be 720 square feet, though Honestly, I'm not sure if I necessarily believe those measurements, but nonetheless, it has served us very well. So without further ado, let's begin the tour, starting with the entryway. All right, starting in the entryway, it's pretty basic. We have a hook here for a lot of our coats. And then we have this closet, this hallway closet that literally does it all. This is where Clay's clothes are, this is where we store our cleaning supplies. We have a mop in here, luggage, and all sorts of other just items. I would show it to you, but full transparency, it's currently full of moving boxes right now and you can barely walk in here. It's definitely a bit of a disaster zone, so I apologize, but it is a great closet. Uh, it, it definitely can fit a lot. Over here is kind of what you'd expect. You have your utility section. We also have a little basket where we keep our mail and uh, Matilda's harness for when she needs to go outside and an array of our most worn shoes and our keys. So entryway. Moving on from the entryway, we're gonna move to the kitchen right here, very conveniently located. So honestly, I love this kitchen. I think by any city standards, but especially New York City standards, it has some incredible amenities. I love cooking and I've done a bunch of cooking in this kitchen. Um, I would say my favorite part is definitely the dishwasher, which is definitely a rarity in New York. So the fact that I've had a dishwasher has just been uh, incredible. Um, we have our fridge here and then a stove, a microwave, you know, all of your classic New York things. Um, there are definitely some unusual things stored in here from Christmas decorations <laughs> up on the top. It has a lot of counter space, um, fantastic for baking, you have a KitchenAid and everything. And yeah, it's served us really well over the years. But honestly, not too much to say. It's just full of kitchen stuff. One tip I would say is uh, if you have cute pot and pans, Leave them on the stove because we don't have anywhere else to put them, so it's a display item as well. So that's the kitchen, and I'm moving on to our hallway. So this is definitely one of the more crowded areas in our apartment. We have quite a bit of storage going on in our hallway, but it's turned into practical as well as kind of aesthetic purposes. So obviously we have this console which is full of our records and our record player as well as our speaker. I know you're not supposed to lay your records flat, but it's a temporary storage solution for us um, and we'll be storing them another way once we move. I know and I just wanted to call that out, but this is from Target and it's actually a really good price and I think it's pretty cute and it has a lot of shelving space and really fit this space well. The mirror is also from Target and in general it's just full of records and some cookbooks and lots of hand sanitizer, which makes sense for obvious reasons. But this is the first thing in our hallway here. And then the second thing in our hallway is more storage, which is full of like winter items and kind of like a drink station. We have our coffee maker here and we have uh, some liquor here as well. So depending on what part of the day you're at, you're kind of covered, if you know what I mean. I also store my hats up here and you know, I've got the book pennant, which is from the Austin Public Library, big fan of this. Also try to link some of these small things down below if you're curious, as well as just anything I featured in this video. If it still is out in the world, I'll definitely try to link it. But this is the hallway, storage, music, alcohol, you know? Moving on from the hallway, I'm now gonna take you to the dining room, which currently has no dining table in it, but let's 
check it out. Starting with this, kind of the front side of the kitchen, we have our bar stools, which I can assure you we never eat at. We eat all of our food on the coffee table, which I'll be showing up later. But this is actually really handy, great extra seating, no complaints here. But now moving on to the main attraction, which is basically what is in our dining room, technical dining room, and that is where I keep my bookshelves. Obviously, as a book content creator, this is very central to my heart, very central to the apartment, and this is where I film all of my videos. Um, as you can see, they're overstuffed, overflowing, and as we move throughout the rest of the apartment, you can see where I have strategically tried to store other books because clearly I'm out of space, but I'm a big fan. These are the IKEA Billy bookshelves. They've lasted really well over the past three years, and I've owned a version of these for the past like seven years, um, so I am a big fan. But yeah, this is my dining room. No eating can be done here, but lots of reading. And now we have reached the living room. I'm not gonna lie, the space is a little tricky to film um, because it's really backlit from the really bright and lovely windows. So I'm gonna chat through it with a bunch of overlay footage. But first and foremost, we have this leather chair, which I love from West Elm. I film all of my videos in this. I basically drag it in front of my bookshelves and sit in it. It's lovely. And then from there, we have the sofa and Matilda, if you see her in the background. This is actually a really handy sofa from a company called Burrow. It's modular, so if you end up moving, it actually comes apart in pieces, so it's much easier to like bring downstairs and stuff and easy to set up. It's really like a handy apartment couch. Um, coffee table is from West Elm, and overall, this is basically this side of the apartment and will shift to the other side now. On the other side of the room now, we have a mirror, which is lovely for OOTDs various mirror selfies, and in general, just, you know, checking out your outfit. Um, it's from Target. It also has kind of this rack on the back, which is where I store my coats instead of blankets, which is handy. And then from there we have the TV, which of course we love. We spend a lot of time consuming television. This piece is from West Elm, and honestly, it's incredibly handy. I think it's designed for a dining room, but because of all of the cabinets and drawers, we're able to fit a bunch of stuff in here, including things like extra sheets. We have our video game consoles in here, DVDs. It's really handy and all the storage is not visible, which kind of helps with clutter. We did hang a shelf up here and recently acquired some plants, which we're all very proud of, clay especially, and just, you know, added some decor. And then I wasn't lying when I said I tried to find places and ways to use books and all elements of my decor. So rainbow book stack picture. You know what I mean? And then this area of the apartment is probably the trickiest part to film, but it's just the air conditioning unit, which I have stored more books. There is Matilda, and then Matilda's little cave lounge area is back there, which I will quickly show off. Full of blankets. She loves looking out the window, and if you look closely, it's just full of her face marks. So we will definitely be wiping that down before we move, but that's Matilda's little spot in the apartment. Isn't that right, Matilda? That's your room. Moving on from the living room, we now have the office. This is kind of a creative space that exists between the bathroom and the bedroom that we turned into an office. We added some shelves from Ikea. This desk is from Target. And I honestly love this space. It's definitely cluttered, but all the clutter I just love so much. At the beginning of work from home, Clay worked from the desk, but at the beginning of this year, I reclaimed it for myself, quickly transformed it into the ultimate place to journal and work and do all of that in my day to day. Uh, it's full of lots of things from stuffed animals from our travels and just all sorts of knickknacks, but brings me a lot of joy. It's also a space I'm just proud of because I feel like it fits perfectly in a nook within the apartment and it just really worked out. Next is the bathroom, which I will keep a brief. Honestly, this is a really well-sized bathroom for New York City. It definitely has served as well. One tip I would say is if you're moving to New York or honestly anywhere that doesn't have a lot of storage, get one of these over toilet things. I definitely have too many products. I think this is a more honest representation of what my bathroom looks like on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, but yeah, it's nice. There's some under cabinet stuff, shower, toilet, the usual things that you find in a bathroom. And then the last room in the apartment is the bedroom. Um, pretty self-explanatory. This is where we sleep. I have again used more space that was not designed for books for books. Um, there isn't a lot of space in here and it's definitely mostly taken up by the bed, which if you saw our Chicago apartment tour, our bedroom basically looks the exact same. This bed is from West Elm. Um, I don't think they sell it anymore, but I'll try to find a similar one. We each have a nightstand, which is from 
Target, which have held up pretty decently over the past four years. And then this is the bedroom closet, which I have taken for myself. Clay was very kind to just let me use it for all of my uh, sweaters and dresses, which fills up this entire thing. <laughs> and then to follow me to the other side of the room, we have this dresser, which is from West Elm, which I love and it's so handy and I feel like it's such a great size for an apartment and fits so much stuff. A TV, a clothing rack for my overabundance of clothes and that's pretty much it and then a closet on the other side we'll say this is my nightstand i have a book and then noise canceling headphones to block out when clay plays call of duty in the living room so that's pretty much it alrighty guys that is my new york city apartment tour hopefully you enjoyed again i'll try to leave everything i can link down below but can't wait for a new apartment and uh, i will see you guys soon with another video soon goodbye